Being an only child comes with a lot of stereotypes and it's what we call only child syndrome. So it's basically like um, only children are seen as selfish, spoiled, and lonely. But I truly learned a lot about myself simply by spending a lot of time alone. I figured out my interests very easily. I figured out how to entertain myself. I grew independence very fast and I learned how to form my own opinions. I even now look forward to having time alone like my parents are out of town right now and I'm just like you know home alone just living my life you know I'm just driving around but sometimes I do dream about having siblings you know because sometimes you're in a dark spot, you need someone to talk to, to be there with you, but you just have no one. So that is a con of being an only child. Something else is only children are very adult-centric, so we get along with a lot of adults. When I was younger, when I was at daycare, um, I would always get along very well with the workers. I've always been a very introverted extrovert. So I'm a very social person. Like I talk to everyone, I say hi to everyone in the hallways. But as I said earlier, I love my alone time. Another con would be um, the pressure to succeed. My parents only have one child, right? Me and they don't put pressure on me but i put pressure on myself to succeed because i'm i'm the bloodline baby like i'm i really want to make them proud you know only children become like um overachievers I really need to clean my closet. It's kind of starting to look like a mess. I tried to start organizing it. I did a closet decluttering. I got rid of a bunch of clothes. So these are sort of organized, but then the rest of my closet is just an absolute mess. So I'm getting ready for dance class. Dance is one thing that hasn't changed ever since I was young. Like my passion for dance has just escalated. I remember I would play soccer and I would arrive home and I would just play just dance. Then one day at school, we got like pamphlets and it was for a dance school and I was like, mommy, I want to do this. 
So I quit soccer, joined dance, and never looked back. And it's the best decision I've ever made in my life. I have two layers of clothes on right now, and it's two long sleeves. And putting on deodorant was the hardest thing I've done all day. Like, that was complicated. I'm currently sitting on my basement floor. I am terrified. I found a few photo albums, and I wanted to go through some of them. Stop. I absolutely loved this little green car. This picture of me lying on the floor on the carpet. My parents still talk to me about it. Like, I'm not even joking. This picture has like a chokehold on me. Shut up. <laughs> so this is me with my Elmo piano and my Hannah Montana shirt. I was obsessed with Elmo and Hannah Montana. <gasps> oh my god. This was when I got my first guitar. It was a red electric guitar and I proceeded to take guitar classes for like five years but like after a while I outgrew it and I traded it and saved a few bucks for the guitar that I have right now. Somebody got some money from the Toot Fairy. Oh, This is baby me with our cat. It was named Bizu. I love cats, but I'm so allergic to them now that I get rashes. <laughs> he was a natural bone dancer. Aww. Remember when I said I had an Elmo obsession? Yeah. I wasn't kidding. I had a chair, a costume, and I had a bunch of them. This one literally did cartwheels. I've always been a fall girl. I've always loved to fall. It's been my favorite season. Now, these car slippers are iconic. Well, that was very fun. I don't regret going to my basement. And I actually wanted to like write a letter to my younger self just to not let other people push you around so much because you are worth so much more than what people tell you you are. And once you realize it, you'll gain that confidence you desperately desire. People will make fun of you for the very reasons your future self will love you. And at the end of the day, it truly does not matter what people think of you, but how you think of yourself. Think of life as being in a relationship. You're stuck with yourself for the rest of your life, whereas friends will come and go. You will bloom, and don't worry, your personality will shine. Love you dearly, XOXO, Yannick.